Maverick Hunter Headquarters. Zero. It's good to see you're safe, X. I was really worried about you. Sorry about that. Don't worry. It's all over. Go home and rest. You've earned it. But Zero! What... What if I become one of the Mavericks? Don't ask such silly question. I'm breaking contact now. Wait, Zero! I'm... I'm serious! Zero, if... if I become a Maverick, you have to take care of me. Don't be ridiculous. Now hurry on back. Promise me. Zero. Well, that was the ending of X's playthrough in Mega Man X4. It's been a fun ride. Uh, X definitely has the easier time playing the game. Um, the only really hard part I find is uh, Sigma himself. Even though you saw me take him down pretty goddamn easily. X is the easy mode by far, there's no question. Uh, I think it's pretty shitty that X sorta of got the short end of the stick from now on in the series, really. He's supposed to be the main character, right? The series is called Mega Man X. <laughs> It's not called Zero, it's not called Axel, it's it's Mega Man X. And yet, from now on, from X4 onwards, it just seems like he doesn't get the the story, he doesn't get any importance, you know? It's, it's always about Zero or someone else. But I digress. Um, yeah. <laughs> what a horrible voice actor for X, I must... I mean, God! He's a child! Why does he have a child's voice? He's supposed to be this haunted, tormented Reploid who, for the past three games, has always droned on about why are humans fighting Reploids, and he's pondering why we must have senseless fighting. And I guess Capcom figured... Well, he's a Mega Man, right? Yeah, well, why don't we just get the same guy who voiced Mega Man in Mega Man 8? Um, it doesn't work like that. Well, it will in this game, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, I guess it wouldn't cross Dr. Light's mind that, hmm, this robot looks a lot older than the Mega Man I know and love. But I'll give him the same voice, yes. Actually, how does a scientist give a robot a voice anyway? Do they actually get, like, some person and analyze their speech patterns, or what? Well, I don't know the details. I think even Zero and, uh, Base have the same voice, too. I might be mistaken, though. Actually, no, 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 no. Now that I think about the infamous scenes coming up with Zero's story, there's no way he and Base had the same voice actor. <laughs> there's no way. No way. And if I'm wrong... Prove me wrong, but still, I don't believe it. There's no way. Anyway, folks, uh, that was X4. For X, anyway. Because now we're going to be tackling Zero's side of the story, and Zero's side of the story is a lot, I repeat, a lot, a lot, a lot better. I mean, the gameplay is a little bit harder, but it's actually funner for me. I love being Zero over X. And, uh... Well, the plot is so much deeper, because they actually go into the background of Zero, and this game pretty much established everything that's going on with that character. So, uh, you might want to tune into that playthrough. The battle has ended, yet somehow, X doesn't feel quite right. What caused all those robots to turn into Mavericks? Will it happen to me someday? Has X just realized his tragic destiny? It appears that X will have to solve this mystery one day... soon. But that was the X playthrough. I have been the Great Clement. Toodles.